I want the death penalty. I don't want to go. We have heard that comment from Blount County Sheriff Barong all week long. The leader of that office is calling for capital punishment, but how likely is it for the suspect Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. to actually face the death penalty? Reporter Maria Guzman breaks down the possibility and what the laws say about it. Maria. Yes, Katie, the state reports 40 pipe 45 people are on death row right now. 13 are from East Tennessee. One attorney tells me a person can be in death row for years as it all comes down to the evidence. The decision is on the table for District Attorney General Ryan Desmond. It will be his call to either file a death penalty notice or not for Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. Noticing a defendant that he is going to be a subject to the death penalty and the state will be seeking that as a punishment should they get a conviction. But before his conclusion to file, the DA says he will first speak with the victim's family and take into account the family's word. I will speak with the family first and foremost. I will explain the entire legal process to them. As for a timeline on when that discussion will happen, the DA says soon. Days or weeks, sir? Uh, I, would, I would say week, weeks, certainly, yes, uh, not months. Defense attorney Don Bosch says there's only three punishment for first degree murder, death penalty, life without parole, life with possibility of parole. He says a person can be on death row for years as legal teams review the case and if the evidence provided is constitutional. State or the government is trying to take an individual's life as a punishment. We need to be sure that we get that right. Right now, the longest person on death row has been there for 45 years, since 1983 while the last person to be sentenced was three years ago in 2021. A similar number of people on Tennessee's death row that have passed away for medical reasons versus actually been executed. In Tennessee, the last person executed was four years ago in 2020. The presumption of innocence in our country, no matter how strong the proof may be, let the system work and it's... Again, we are just in the early stages of Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. case. This first decision will come from the district attorney and his choice to file or not on the death penalty notice. Katie.